This is a test setup with the germanium receptor, version 1.0. The germanium receptor is visible on the left side, further on in the film, I will demonstrate it a bit better. On the right side, you can see the LV100. It is a microphone noise preamplifier from the company, LV. The noise and crackling is generated by the small germanium tile. The 5 band equalizer is an important component of the system. Together with the high and low frequency roll off filters, they are an important component for making the voices more readable. If too much filtering is set, the more severe the artifacts will be in the filtered audio. Now I will be quiet for a while, and turn the knobs just a bit more, to show the filter in action.
acoustic feedback can under certain circumstances produce interesting, paranormal voices. In other words, not everything that is very loud and distorted is necessarily negative. With this switch, the audio from the high, low roll-off filter, can be routed, directly to the 5-band equalizer. And with this switch, the unprocessed audio signal is audible, or the signal is routed through the filter module. The audio is unfiltered at the moment, and now comes directly from the germanium receptor V1.0. I love this beautiful, and pleasant noise of the germanium plate, I wonder, what is hiding behind this noise? This was again an acoustic feedback, and if you listen closely, you can hear a voice, saying something unfortunately very unintelligible, and would therefore have to be post-processed with filter software. Too much filtering equals too much artifacts.
I hope, I was able to give you some insight into how the DSP filter works. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact me. Good luck with your experiments.